The road we're on is paved in Garth. Come along on the journey. As we explore Garthology. Think of it more as a conversation. I like that. So if this is truly a conversation, then I say let the conversation begin. Hey everyone, it's Deb. And I'm Pete. And I'm Jess. Welcome to Season 4, Episode 29 of Garthology. The holidays are here and we're ready to start celebrating. To kick off this special time of year, we're helping you put together an awesome Garth Brooks holiday playlist. Now, to do that, we've each picked one of our favorite songs from each of Garth's three Christmas albums. So this will give you a nine-track Christmas playlist that will absolutely get you into a jolly holiday spirit. To start us off, let's look at Garth's first Christmas album. All right, so Garth's first Christmas album was Beyond the Season, which was released on August 25th, 1992. My selection from Beyond the Season is Silent Night. Holy night, all is calm, all is bright around young virgin mother and child. Holy infant, so tender. Silent Night is a popular Christmas carol composed in 1818 by Franz Xavier Gruber, with lyrics by Joseph Moore. Now, my reason for choosing Silent Night is because, in my opinion, Silent Night is the perfect Christmas song to highlight Garth's vocal abilities. Plus, he makes this very traditional song his own by adding in the voiceover about almost missing seeing his mom at Christmas in 1987. So that's why I picked it. Okay, Pete, what song did you pick from Beyond the Season? So my first song off of the Beyond the Season album is Santa Looked a Lot Like Daddy. Her daddy looked a lot like him It's not the way I had him pictured Santa wasn't much too thin He didn't come down to me So mama must have let him in Santa looked a lot like daddy Her daddy looked a lot like him I never saw a dancer, prancer I never heard the sleigh bells ring I never saw no red nose Santa Looked a Lot Like Daddy was written by Buck Owens and Don Rich. It was released by Garth Brooks off of the Beyond the Seasoned album in August of 92, but originally it was released by Buck Owens in 1965. It's also been covered by Travis Tritt, Brad Paisley, and many, many more. I love the upbeat tempo and the lyrics, the story and the fun in this song. The song peaked uh, for Buck Owens on the U.S. Christmas songs for Billboard at number two. I didn't even know they registered Christmas songs, but hey, they do. And then it peaked for Garth on the U.S. Hot Country Songs for Billboard at number 56. Then Brad Paisley topped it at number 49. (laughs) But I love the upbeat tempo of this song and the story behind it. Listening to the song through the research, it's crazy because, you know, you come out and it says that uh, Santa looks a lot like daddy and you think your dad and then mom and then it's mom and dad hugging. And it's just the greatest story he's going to tell. And could you just imagine as a kid, if you saw something like that and this story came true, like what you would do. So that's the reason why I picked that for my first song. Santa looked a lot like daddy. Jess, what about you? What's your first song? My first song from beyond the season is Go Tell It on the Mountain. brought with him forgiveness he lived to show us a way he came to reach 
redeem all creation and to wash all our sins away. Go Tell It on the Mountain was actually originally an African-American spiritual song. So there is no known author, which I think is cool that it was passed down that long and then it became a traditional Christmas song. This is just like a very traditional choir opening. There's a really big moment with the choir at two minutes and 13 seconds that I love, love, love. And so on this album specifically, this is one of the ones I always gravitate to. This is a spiritual sounding Garth. You can hear it in his voice, the way he sings it. It's got that little gritty sound, a little soulful sound, which I like. I prefer mostly traditional hymns at Christmas with a few little, you know, Pete's going to die. But like the little Mariah Carey here, the little, (laughs) you know, um, Trans-Siberian Orchestra, because Pete loves Christmas music. So I'm sure he understands all that. 100%. I don't know what a transgender <laughs> chorus or whatever choir you just said, but I, yeah. Mostly though, I really love traditional music for Christmas. So that ticks that box. And this, like the song that you had is very upbeat and it's a great baking, decorating song. It just also lyrically reminds me of the reason for the season. And I like to keep a couple of those in there on my rotation. So that's why I picked Go Tell It on the Mountain. So, Deb, where are we going next? Our next set of tracks is from Garth's second Christmas album, which was titled Garth Brooks and the Magic of Christmas. That album was released on November 23rd, 1999. My selection from the Magic of Christmas is Sleigh Ride. We're gliding along with the songs of the wintry wonder And our cheeks are nice and rosy, come be cozy, oh me We're snuggling close together like the birds of a fence should be Let's take a row before us and sing a chorus or two Come on, it's lovely weather for us, they ride together with Sleigh Ride was composed by Leroy Anderson, and the orchestral version was first recorded in 1949. The lyrics came later and were written by Mitchell Parrish in 1950. So the reason that I picked this song is, for me, this is another classic Christmas song, and when it comes on, I'm instantly in the Christmas spirit. I think that Garth's version is the epitome of winter fun It's got that fast, upbeat music, and just overall, this song makes me absolutely happy. So this will always be on my playlist in many of its various versions, but especially in Garth's version. So let's go back to Pete. Pete, what's your pick from The Magic of Christmas? Yeah, my second song, and obviously the pick from The Magic of Christmas is Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow. Lights are turned way down low Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow When we finally kiss goodnight How I hate going out of the storm But as long as you hold me tight Oh, all the way home I'll be warm Well, the fire is slowly dying But my dear, still goodbye Let It Snow was written by Sammy Kahn and Julie Stein. Obviously released in 1999 off of the Garth Brooks and the Magic of Christmas album. This song, it's just an iconic classic. It's with a little bit of Garth and a little bit of country. There are a lot of instruments in this one, and the background vocals really accompany Garth's voice very well. Listening to this song kind of makes you realize, hey, you know what? Like we're at that time of the year, right? The Christmas tree is going up. The lights and the decorations are out. And it was a little bit of something that slightly started putting me into a uh, holiday festive mood around the house, I guess, while researching it. Because, I, you know, to me, it's just like it, it's iconic. Any, 
you're not going to hear this song just one or five or seven times through this holiday season. You're going to hear it a lot, whether it's from other artists or, you know, people who have covered it or cut it or whatever, but just a very, very iconic classic. And I think that Garth did very, very well. So that's why I picked this one. Jess, what about you? What's your song off this album? Off of Garth Brooks and the Magic of Christmas, I chose Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. If the fates allow Hang a shining star upon the highest bound And have yourself a merry little Christmas night This song was written by Ralph Blaine and Hugh Martin, and this is another traditional pick for me. To me, this is kind of a sitting in the dark, taking in your Christmas lights, just enjoying the end of the evening kind of song. I love several versions of this song, actually, including the incomparable Miss Yearwoods, but this is one of my favorites, and it's one that I put several different versions of it on my Christmas playlist every year because I love the song itself so much, but I definitely love Garth's version of it. It has some beautiful violin. Musically, I like the choices that were made here. It has great backing vocals. And Garth's voice, just the it's the perfect vocal balance of restraint and power. And I think he did a beautiful job with a very traditional holiday song. That's why I put Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas on my playlist. So what do we have for the last Christmas album? Our last three picks for this Christmas playlist are from Garth's album titled Christmas Together, which was a duets album with Trisha Yearwood and was released on November 11th, 2016. My selection from Christmas Together is Baby It's Cold Outside. Baby It's Cold Outside was written by Frank Lesser in 1944. Now, the reason I chose Baby It's Cold Outside is because even though there have been many, many, many duets of this classic Christmas song, which is actually not a Christmas song, but because it's cold weather, I guess it became a Christmas song. But there's so many variations of this song out there. Different people singing it together, always a duet. And there are great versions, but I just don't think anyone holds a candle to Garth and Trisha's version. For me, listening to this, it's the epitome of the perfection of this song. And you can just hear their closeness and how they are together. And I mean, overall, we've talked about this a lot in the podcast, but they sound so perfect together that this version of this song, it just shows everything about why they are so fantastic together. So that's why this one's on my list. Okay, Pete, we're ready for your final song. What did you choose? Yep, so my third and final song for these uh, Christmas playlist titles that we're going to put together is Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad was written by the well-known Jose Feliciano. And obviously, it is one of the most, if not, I I don't know, this has got to be like a top five song that everybody around the United States and the world listens to around Christmas. And that's the least reason why I picked it. Matter of fact, I only picked it because I see how much fun Garth Brooks has with this song. (laughs) It is unbelievable how much fun this man has with this song. 
And now it's forever changed the way that I sing the song. So, okay, Garth and Trisha did a CBS special. And, like, Garth just lights up when this song comes on. And when they're doing it, he just, Feliz Navidad. He's just jamming out on the thing. And he's bouncing around. She's trying to make cookies. And then she's like, oh, no. And then he's singing it. And every time, in and out of commercial breaks, it's all he could do. So, like, this this song will always now forever be Garth Brooks bouncing around on that CBS special, just screaming the words to this song. So, with that being said, that was my third song. But because I was forced to do this episode, <laughs> I just need to make a disclaimer. Had Bella Wood made it to any one of these three albums at any point, that would have been the song that I would have chose one, two, and three. Because to me, that song, the story behind it, the setting, I guess, the place that it puts you in, it for whatever reason, like it just takes me to Christmas time. So if that was an option, that would have always been the song for me. So that's my disclaimer. And I'm sticking to it. <laughs> All right, Jess, what do you have for your third song off the third album? So I have the third and final song off the final album, wrapping up our playlist for this Christmas. And I chose Ugly Christmas Sweater. About to say I love to stay, but that was when a pretty little girl from accounting walked in. Ho, ho, ho. There's really nothing better than a beautiful girl in an ugly Christmas sweater. Ho, ho, ho. Now I can't forget her, that beautiful girl in an ugly Christmas sweater. So I made my way across the room so she might be happily accidentally standing next to me. Ugly Christmas Sweater was written by Garth Brooks and John Martin, and this was my non-traditional pick. So this was the, the only one off of this set for me that wasn't like a very down the middle traditional Christmas song. Um, this one's just funny, happy, silly. It's the perfect holiday song. It reminds me a little bit of kind of a mix between Jingle Bell Rock and Baby It's Cold Outside. I was like listening to the music, listening to the words, and those are the vibes I get from this song. But we talked about when we covered this album specifically, like, I feel like this could be a holiday standard. Like, I think it could kind of start making the rounds. And actually, when I looked at like the songs played off the album, it was one of the songs that's gotten played more, which was interesting to me. This is another great baking, decorating, gift wrapping song. It's that kind of music that could be on in the background. I love the background vocals in this one. And it actually has jingle bells as like actual jingle bells as part of the music. And that just so makes it a Christmas song. I think you could probably throw some jingle bells in about any song and suddenly it's a holiday song. So we could do a whole nother show on that. Like what shows, what songs could you add some jingle bells to and make it different and be a Christmas song. But, but yeah, I enjoyed this one and it makes me laugh every time it comes on. And you know, who doesn't want to laugh at the holidays? There's absolutely zero reason to add jingle bells to any song. <laughs> okay. If it's not already there. Mr. Scrooge. <laughs> Grinch. Grinch. No. Yeah. <laughs> Both said Grinch. 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 <laughs> All right, everyone. That's it for this episode. So what did you think of this Christmas playlist? Will it help you get in the Christmas spirit? Let us know what you think about it on any of our social media accounts. Have you checked out our website at Garthology.com yet? If not, stop by today and check out our past episodes and bonus content. And remember to subscribe to our podcast on your podcast platform of choice. If you get the chance, please stop by and hit that five-star button if you like what you hear and encourage others to listen. Be sure and share us with everyone you know. That way you can help your friends in low places become Garthologists too. Yeah, and speaking of friends in low places, we are on social media and we know that the majority of you guys are too. So if you guys are on Facebook, we are at www.facebook.com backslash GarthologyCast. We are on Instagram, Twitter, Threads, and TikTok at GarthologyCast there. So please cruise over, like, share, tweet, retweet, direct message us. We know we get a lot of messages from you guys back and forth. We do appreciate and look forward to the interaction. So thank you guys for the support on the socials and keep it up. We appreciate it. You can hear new episodes of Garthology on the 7th, 17th, and 27th of each month. So please join us for our next episode. Until then, this has been Season 4, Episode 29 of Garthology. And I'm Deb. I'm Pete. And I'm Jess. 
Bye, everybody, and Merry Christmas. Bye, everybody, and have a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bye, everyone. Thanks again for listening. We hope your Christmas is so happy. And remember, love will always win. Okay. <laughs> Time out. This is a shit sh- sh- real quick in a hand basket. Okay. Hold on a second. Bear's barking. Yes. There's an Amazon guy at the door. Of course there is. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> Steph's been doing some shopping. And so is my mom. <laughs> I know. Sometimes I'm like, oh, we had deliveries today. Oh, oh, that one's me too. Oh, sorry. There's another one coming tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I put have yourself a merry little Christmas. <laughs> Sounds like Bo's not sure about Bo's that like, song. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Bo. 100%. <laughs> Feliz Navidad was written by the well-known Jose Felice. Maybe is his <laughs> name. I don't know. No, not Felice. <laughs> Please stop saying it. Please stop saying it. Please stop saying that. No, it's Feliciano. Same thing. No, that's not the same same thing. thing. All right. So my third. That's a whole different playlist. (laughs) (laughs) And more of my playlist. That's called Fifty Shades of Christmas. That's where we're going. (laughs) 